for you and it's Camille and I feel like my voice isn't matching the video that well. I've been trying to get this video out for like five years. No, just kidding, not five years, but um a long time and it's not uploading off YouTube and my camera is dead. So we're just gonna try on this. I'm on photo booth right now on my MacBook and yeah. I'm supposed to be doing an essay right now, but I'm not because I want to film this. But this is gonna be a Walmart haul. And this is probably over, I go to Walmart like twice a week, so this is probably from like eight trips, I'm not even joking. Like I go twice a week, and this is all from January, so all the stuff I've collected from Walmart in the month of January. So that's a lot of, it's not that much, it could be worse. And you have to like think that I also buy food pretty much every time I'm there, but I'm not going to show you food. I feel like grocery hauls, I can do some, but that's all downstairs, or I've ate it all. So... This is just giving me the makeup, the skincare, the hair products, and yeah, that kind of stuff. So, I'm seriously just going to pull stuff at random. I either got this yesterday or at the beginning of the month, so yeah. First thing is the Garnier BB Cream, and I actually used it today for the first time. And it is in the shade Light. And this, I think they only had it in Light Medium first, and now they came out with Light, which I'm really happy about because my friend is in light medium and she's way darker than me and I tried it and I was like yeah no so I'm so happy they came out with a light version for us like pale girls I don't look that pale right now but I'm pretty white so yeah I really like this I'm wearing it today and I think it looks pretty good so yeah this was like twelve dollars and I bought this mainly because I, did, I don't like to wear a foundation in the heat and I'm going to California which is not gonna be that hot which kinda sucks but I still don't like to wear foundation, so I bought this. Yeah. Okay, next I got a backup of my night cream. This is the Neutrogena Naturals Night Cream, and I use this obviously at night, and it just comes in a jar. My mom actually broke my other one. She was like in my bathroom, and she knocked it over the desk or the counter, and it cracked. So I'm gonna keep this one in my drawer, I think, or in my room, because I don't want her to knock it in. Um, I got shaving cream. This is just the one I like, and me and my sister like. It's in Lavender Kiss, so it smells like lavender. This is just like sand care. Pretty boring stuff. Um, I got tinted a new of the baby lips. This is in Twinkle, which is this color, and it literally has no color. Like I'm wearing it right now, it's just a lip balm. It has no color, so that's kind of disappointing. These are $4.99, I think, which is kind of expensive for uh, just a plain lip balm, but whatever. Oh well, I got this nail polish a long time ago, and this is a no place like chrome. I actually posted a Twitter picture, um, but it chips really easily. But it's really pretty though. It's like a silver color. Yeah, like this. Um, I got this mascara. It's waterproof for California because I do live in the pool down there. And this is in very black. And I haven't tried it yet, so I can't really say anything if I like it or not. I got the Bedhead After Party Smoothing Cream, and this is just like basically what it says, a smoothing cream, and I love this product. I've had it like pretty much the whole month, and I'll definitely be repurchasing it. I l I'm obsessed with it. It's really good. The next product is the Bedhead Rockaholic Dry Shampoo. This product is good, but I think it's expensive normally. I got it on sale. I think normally it's like $14. I don't know. There's really good cheap drugstore sh um, dry shampoos. I really like the Suave one. Um, but this is pretty good, so I definitely like it. Next, I got this powder at the beginning of the month, and it's the Maybelline Dream Matte, and I've used, like, almost all of it. And this is in the shade Light, and it's just a really good powder. I would probably be repurchasing this because I used to use MAC powders, which are, like, $30. This is, like, 10 so save the extra $20 whenever I need powder. Yep. And I got a new razor. This is the Venus one, and it comes with five extra blades. And it's like, I don't like the color, though. It's like yellow, which I'm not a fan of yellow. But this was it. I was at Walmart with Emma last night, and they had, like, no razors other than pink ones. Mine right now is pink, but it's like a hot pink. And all the ones they had were, like, baby pink, and my sister just bought a baby pink one, and we share a shower, so we didn't want to, like, confuse them. So I got a yellow one, but whatever. It's, it's just the color. Who cares, you know? Um, I got another of these, which I regret. Why did I buy these? These are $4.99. That's like, that's like a lot of money for a lip balm. I couldn't even think of a word there. Um, this one at least has more color, though. This one's a baby pink, but like, 
it barely shows up but it's better than the other one at least at least this one has like somewhat of a color this one i'm dropping it this one has no color at all so that kind of sucks um i got a maybelline color tattoo in barely branded which is just a champagne color that's what i'm wearing on my eyes today it's what i've been wearing like the whole month because i've been super lazy with my makeup I got this clean and clear acne thing because I've been breaking out a ton. I don't know if it's working though. I've been using it. Does it look like I have less acne? I don't really know. Um, it's okay. I don't really know. But yeah. I've never even seen this before though. Like I used to buy the Persa gel. But I don't really know. And then the last thing I got. Oh no, not the last thing. I lied. I got two things. Um, I got a baby shaving cream. This is for my trip because I didn't want to bring, like, the big one. So, I got a baby one. Even though it's such a ripoff, I think this one was, like, $2 and this one was, like, a dollar. And how much more do you get in this one? This one's 70 and this one's 200 grams. So, I guess that's not that bad of a deal. But this one has like a cool scent. This one is just like original, so it smells like nothing, pretty much. But whatever. It's just because I don't want my luggage to be, um, they now have like a, not a law, but like your luggage has to be under 50 pounds. So I try to buy mini sizes if I can. For shampoo, I don't even bother. I was just like, I'm just going to buy some when I get down there. I'm not traveling with like a thing of conditioner and shampoo. I'm not doing that. Um, I got the Neutrogena makeup remover for my eyes, and this is the oil-free one. This is my favorite stuff to take off my eye makeup, but lately I've been wearing, like, no eye makeup, so I don't even use it. I just use my cleanser all over, but if I was to, like, do a lot of makeup, then I would use this. So, yeah, that was my haul. Um, I also have some Brandy Melville stuff that, like, when I was filming this haul a couple days ago, or not a couple days ago, a couple hours ago today, I had the stuff in it, but it was making the video really, really long, so, yeah, if you want to see that stuff, though, let me know in the comments. I was just looking at my powder, because I just realized you can open it, and there's, like, a puff in it. I didn't know that till now. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of slow today. I have to do this, um, essay thing, and I really don't want to do it, so I'm procrastinating by filming this video. So, yeah. Um, everyone's watching the Super Bowl. Super Bowl Sunday, and I'm just in my room talking to myself. It's cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know when I'll have this video uploaded, because I'm going to be really busy with school. But, if you see this, then you know I uploaded it. So, I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.